Hello, Squirrel Tribe 2.0. It is Friday. My dudes, my hair is clean, is down. I just took a shower, washed and dried my hair. This one little strip of gray that goes all the way through makes me think of Anna from Frozen. I don't know why, it's just this, I mean, I have a lot of gray everywhere, but this one just goes all the way down and it stands out. I didn't do this with, this is nature, y'all. My, my stress, I guess, is only in this one spot and has grown out like substantially, but I friggin' love it. Anyway, I guess there's a little one over here too. Look at that. Anyway, my hair is always in a bun. I have no clue what my hair actually looks like. Um, but I just took a shower, washed my face. So I wanted to show you guys, because we talked about this a couple of days ago. This is my skin. <laughs> this is my skin on collagen. Um, and my eyebrows still haven't tweezed and you know, whatever little nose hairs and mustache hairs and little plucky things I need to get around here, whatever. This is what the collagen has done. To me, I haven't gone back and looked at videos where I've gotten this up close and personal with y'all um, from like uh, two weeks ago or so, but I really do feel like the collagen has, hi, has helped my skin. I know I have a lot of spots and everything. That's because I live in Florida now and I'm in the sun a lot, but I feel like it has helped a lot with the pores and like the elasticity, I think is what it's supposed to be. Either way, I feel like my skin feels and looks just a little bit fresher, if you will, um, with the collagen I've been using from Transparent Labs. So I'm super excited about that. Also excited about the fact that I have a package over there to open from Cindy. We're gonna go through some Hervé Lucindy stuff. And I got this crap, y'all. So look, I opened this up. This is the apple cider vinegar with the mother, which I was like, the mother what? The mother, f no, it's not that. It's something totally different. It's the, I looked it up what mother means, but it's like the bacteria, the good bacteria that makes this worth anything without it it's basically just like a cleaning agent but with it it's something you can ingest right so i got this one and i opened it up this morning and i poured it into a cup two tablespoons into a cup and i was like the smell makes me want to go eat a salad or vomit i can't decide which one because it feels like it should be on a salad somewhere right and then i was like oh i can't do this without you guys i have to drink this for the first time on 2.0 so i'm going to try this apple cider vinegar because a lot of you told me that that's what i needed to do do to get rid of the heartburn issues I've been having and that it's great for just digestive issues to begin with. So I've been eating the Chobani yogurts, right, to get the probiotics. I have my green prebiotics, which I'm pretty sure have helped clean me out significantly, side note, okay. Um, but I figured I would try this I can't with the smell though. Like I feel like it goes on like a Waldorf salad. It's just so weird. And I know it's gonna taste like absolute just ass when I drink this. So I'm doing two tablespoons. Y'all, this is so gross. Y'all can't see me doing it, but there's one. Ooh, there's way too more than two because I poured over poured. Oh, wait, I need the spoon, hold on. Cause I gotta pour water into it now. Remember when we used to do that, I would try a different drink like daily or whatever. I'd go to the store and get something and we'd try a different drink. And you guys were like, I like it because you know, your facial expressions gave away what you thought of it before you ever said a single word. Pretty sure we're about to have the same issue here. Now my kitchen's gonna smell like apple cider vinegar forever. Okay, let's, don't mind me. I'm just gonna pour some water here. It says to pour eight to 12 ounces. I don't even know what this cup is, but I feel like more water is better than less water. All right, y'all ready? So I'm gonna, I mean, it doesn't stir very well. I've got it stirred. God, it still smells like it. Now, if I can't make this through this, how am I supposed to, I don't, I don't even, is it better if it's cold? Well, I mean, that stuff was cold. Should I put ice in it? Like make it a drink? Huh. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. There's no way this, this is gonna be good for my taste buds. And I almost don't even care if it's good for my stomach at this point, just because of the smell of it. Now, because it says not to just eat two tablespoons of it because it could be really, really bad for like your esophagus and your stomach, especially if you have acid reflux and stuff like that, that you're supposed to dilute it. I don't, do you just hold your nose? Jeez, all right, here we go. Oh, oh, I really don't want to do this. I feel like my kid when I have to give her medicine. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Okay, hold on, I'm doing it. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, I took the world's smallest sip. Hold on. I mean, I don't love it. Oh, when it hits right here. Oh. No. Oh, gosh. Now, ugh. Oh. Please hold. Here's my question. 
if I turn it into a salad dressing, does it have the same, um, uh, health benefits as if I do this? Cause hold on. Oh, all that did was pop my ear. That didn't help at all. Oh, don't do that. Oh gosh. I used to hold my nose when I chew stuff before. I guess I didn't swallow while I was holding my nose. <laughs> Never mind. Um, oh, this is awful, y'all. No, no. I don't. I mean, we're going to put it over there. I just popped the crap out of my ears. Hold on. Oh, try to reopen them back up. I don't know what I just did. I, like stuffed them up when I did that. I try to make them pop so I can hear again. I like stuffed up the left one somehow. Speaking of stuffed up. Ow, my kid stayed home from school again today because um, last night by the time she went to bed, she not only looked like she got hit by a Mack truck, but she sounded absolutely awful and she's blowing her nose every two seconds. The one side that kind of sort of was open, the other side was completely closed. So her, it sucked. I got up at like 12.30 to pee at 2.47 a.m. and both times I could hear her in her room trying to breathe and blow her nose. So this morning when she woke up, she was like... Really? And I was like, technically you don't have a fever. You're perfectly fine. This is pretty much allergies. I've decided it's allergies because you have no fever. Your throat doesn't hurt anymore. Now it's all here. Um, and I think you just need Zyrtec. And she was like, cool, but how am I supposed to go to school like this? I can't use it, keep a tissue in my nostril because that's what she does. She shoves a tissue up her nose. She says, I can't walk through class like this. And I was like, okay, stay home. And all day long, it's just been her blowing her nose and sneezing and whatever else. So she just took a Zyrtec, finally. Uh, we tried uh, Vicks VapoRub on her chest. That's how I knew that it wasn't really like sick. It was more the allergies than anything. So she took a Zyrtec. Hopefully that'll help um, soon. Now my ears feel all out of whack because my dumb ass held my nose while I tried to drink that crappy apple cider vinegar. Oh, that's awful, y'all. I appreciate every single one of you who told me to take it because it's supposed to help, but ugh. Gosh, that is so incredibly disgusting. All right, so I want to open this real fast. Do I have a lot to talk about today? No, not really. But I want to open this from Cindy. This is from Cindy. Hold on one second here. Let's take this off of there. I forgot that part. So this is from Cindy. She delivered it to me, or she didn't deliver it to me. UPS did, but there's a whole lot of stuff on here. I have no idea what's in here. Cindy did not tell me I could not open this in front of everybody. So huh, let's hope that it's still okay that I'm doing what I'm doing. There's a lot of wrapping stuff on here. I cut through something with all these scissors. Anyway, so we went to the gym today. We decided that we we're still going to go to the gym because the kid, like I said, she was just stuffy. She's technically fine. She just was having breathing issues, which technically as a parent, you probably shouldn't leave your child without having breathing issues. But she ate food this morning um, at like 7.30 or eight o'clock. So the man and I went to the gym, got a really good workout in. Both of us were like way sweatier than normal. Remember those pants I showed you guys that I ordered online from Women's Best? They're like the, the um, seamless in the crotch and seamless in the butt, which look really weird. But I showed you guys them. Well, I wore them today. There is a video of them on Patreon because I don't really want to do try on things like bathing suits and pants and stuff like that on YouTube. And I don't really want to do it on Instagram either. So it is on Patreon just because it is a little more I don't want to say the word revealing, but I mean, I get a little more in depth with some stuff on how things fit and, and whatnot. Um, so I wore those today and it feels weird when there's no seam in pants, uh, because then it feels like your butt cheeks sit weird in them. I don't even know how to explain that the correct way, but I wore them today and the sweat factor in them was, it was significant. I mean, I was a sweaty little girl today. I'm not going to lie. Y'all know that little crotch V thing going on and none of it showed in the pants. Lululemon, however, when I wear those, it's like, oh, look, where you sweat there, and you sweat there, turn around right up the crack, you sweat right there, right at the top, top of your butt, you sweat right there. Yeah, Lululemon shows every little drop of sweat humanly possible. These pants from Women's Best showed absolutely nothing, and I was like, oh, oh, we need more of those. So I've got the box here. It's kind of hefty. I don't know how much it weighs, but it's got some weight to it. So let's see what's in here. Um, I'm going to assume nobody would ever send me a bomb. <laughs> I recognize Cindy's name, so I'm pretty sure she's not sending me a bomb. But there's styrofoam in here. I can't get it. Hold on. Technically, I feel like I'm supposed to like do this where y'all can see what's happening. There we go. All right. So let's see what we've got here. Y'all see in there? Yeah? Cool. I don't know if this is upside down. Oh, oh, look at that, y'all. Wow, Cindy. Cindy, Cindy, thank you so much. Oh, there's so much in here, Cindy. You have done too much, ma'am. 
All right, so hold on. Let's move this off to the side. And then there's a note. Oh, an Ulta gift card, thank you. Look, y'all, everyday study Bible. This is what is necessary. The kid and I will be able to use this together. What is this one? Large print, thin line Bible, English, hold on, English standard version. Oh, look how nice this is. Oh, that's so nice. English standard version. So this is the newer, one of the newer ones, right? I think so, y'all. Look how pretty that is. I don't know what it is with Bible covers that just, I mean, it gets me every time because they are just so incredibly pretty. And then what do we have here? Scripture journal, the gospel. Y'all see that? The gospel according to John. Let's see if I can, oh, it doesn't open like that. So what is this? Let's see if I can do this upside down. Scripture journal. Oh, so you, because I said I was, we were starting with John, which is here, which is what we've done. We've started with John. So this is so you can go through and like write down your notes or your thoughts with it. Let's see what it says here. Um, let's go back up. Hi, how you guys doing? Hi, how you doing? Uh, features, full ESV text of the Gospel of John, single column format, thick opaque cream colored paper, lightly rolled pages opposite each page of the Bible text, wide margins, lay fat, flat binding. Take sermon notes as your pastor preaches through John. Record prayers as you read through God's word. Copy scripture to help you memorize specific passages. Write thoughts and takeaways from small group Bible study and family worship. One-on-one -on -one Bible reading with friends, coworkers, and neighbors. This is amazing. Cindy, thank you so incredibly much. Let me read this note. Sorry. Michelle, sorry these took so long to get out. I've added a gift card for the kid. Oh, she will love you. I believe I heard you say she likes to shop at Ulta. Yes, ma'am, she does. Ulta happens to be her favorite place because she likes the, um, they have like the little bath bombs there and she likes to get her mascara there. And she likes the, um, who is it? I don't remember who is it who has the concealer. She uses a specific brand of concealer. I don't think it's Rihanna's, Fenty or whatever. I don't think it's that one. I don't remember who it is now, but she will be extremely, extremely excited. Cindy, thank you so much. You do not have to do that, but I appreciate you very, very much because, you know, we got the Bible, the kid and I, we have started John. We're going to do a whole video on that later for you guys, just her and I. So that's why I'm not saying too much, but so we've started that, but we both have been like, okay, where do we, where do we put our thoughts? So mine, I can write notes in it. Hers does not have that. So she has a Squirrel Tribe notebook. She's been taking notes in, but this will definitely come in handy for both of us. Everyday study Bible. I, I love this. Thank you so much. It's really weird being new to something at 42 that most people have been part of their entire life. Now, technically, I guess you could say I've been part of religion my entire life, just from the, not the opposite end of it, but from the, the less, understanding side of it. I'll, I'll be honest, you know, when I was younger, I kind of wanted to believe more than I did, but my dad made it very hard for me because he was so incredibly preachy with it. I don't think that's the right word, but that's the only way I know how to describe it. And then as I got older, it, um, you know, things that happen and stuff make it harder for you to really like got like get into it. And then when my Nana passed away and every single, you know, please, please, please God was fully unanswered. It, it kind of pulled me back a little farther from everything because you know, so nope. Who? no, we're not crying. No, we're not crying. Stop it. Whew. Hold on. Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Okay. <clears throat> Hold on. Whew. I'm okay. <clears throat> We're good. So, oh, oh, it hits you sometimes, literally out of nowhere. Been almost 10 years. This year will be 10 years. Um, um, yeah, and still just, who? Nope, was not the plan today. Who? okay, so. I am now looking at things like this from a different angle as opposed to from the unheard, unanswered, from the let me understand why unheard, unanswered. So, <laughs> y'all, not, not the plan here. Sorry, I don't like to just be like the little crybaby on, on camera. Oh, but that hit out of nowhere. So, 
Cindy, thank you very, very much. I appreciate you immensely. I love you. Thank you. The kid will be extremely, extremely excited as well. She loves you too, just so you know. Um, now, the other thing besides this really disgusting tasting stuff, I want to open a couple more things from everybody with Cindy. So side note, y'all know I get to be the guinea pig, right? Hold on. I'm trying to like, we're just going to pretend this didn't happen. We're just going to move past it like you know you know block it out whatever um i need a napkin so oh shoot I almost dropped that now i got all like butterfingers um okay every Cindy. i told you guys that i was i offered to be a guinea pig for jess and her husband and so she just she sent me an email that she's sending me a whole nother box of stuff that i'm super excited about i guess i should fix this it's still a little off so when that comes in i get to show you guys everything but i have to give you a heads up now that none of that stuff that's coming in is something that's available for purchase i'm like literally a guinea pig and then however you guys um feel about it like when i show you the stuff when it comes in i would like us to have like or y'all, I'm probably gonna do it on a live stream to make it like more interactive, right? Because I'm super excited about it. But that way, um, y'all can give feedback on stuff too. So it'll be like Squirrel Tribe 2.0 will be helping Airve Lucindy decide where they're gonna reach out to next from the perfume. So I think that's cool as shit that we as a Squirrel Tribe family over here get to be get to partake in the expansion of a small mom and pop made in the USA business. You know what I mean? Like that's. It's just really neat in my personal opinion. So let me um, move these over here and then let's see what we got here. We're gonna open four more. We've already opened a bunch of other ones. Let me just, wait, hold on. Four, we're doing four. Let's see, I can't do any Kevin ones though. For Michelle, for Michelle, for Michelle, for Michelle. Turns out there's more for me than him. So this one, let's do this one. Persian Ivy and Hibiscus. I don't know what Persian Ivy is. And for some reason, I literally just pictured those, those cats from um, Lady and the Tramp. What are they called? What are they called? Siamese, tw Siamese twins. That's not it. Uh, that's a totally different thing. Um, si Siamese, right? I am Siamese, if you please. Dun, 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 dun. I am Siamese, if you don't, please. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I butchered it, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So we're going to try this one, the Persian Ivy. I don't know what Siamese and Persian, they're not the same. I know they're not the same, but for some reason, that's where my brain went. Persian Ivy and Hibiscus. Look, I, again, I love the colorful wraps that she's put on these things, these new bottles. Of course, I can't smell it. We already know that I can't smell it. I sprayed into the lid here, so spray. That's my finger, ma'am, whatever. What is, oh, hold on. Yeah, that looks wrong. Hold on, let's go back to the cap. That smells really good. Maybe it's the hibiscus because I don't know what the hell a Persian ivy is. That smells really good. It's, hold on, I get myself snot somehow. It's like, oh, I gotta exhale, I can't continuously inhale. I did not inhale. <laughs> Bill Clinton, no, nobody, okay. It smells really good, it smells clean. It smells really clean, but heavy clean. I don't know how else to explain that but it's a heavier clean. So to me, this is a more of a dusk, nighttime, girly, floral scent, as opposed to like the lighter ones that are more daytime. Y'all know what I mean. Like, I know you know what I mean. So this one smells really good, but I could, I could not compare it to anything under the sun because I have absolutely no idea what to compare it to. It doesn't smell like anything I've ever smelled, but it smells really good. It's definitely heavy, girly, floral. That's where we're going. I don't, like I said, I don't know what the heck a Persian Ivy is, but Persian Ivy and Hibiscus, really like it. That one's nice. Let's throw you over here. Hold on. Let me make this pretty again because the box looks all gross. Go back up there. So there's like a, a sign in the background. Stay. So the next one, let's do this one. This is Bergamot and Amberwood. Oh, I think I have that one. I think I have that one. Is that the one I have? Or is that the one I read that I really wanted? No, I don't know. Hold on. I'll tell you in a second. Bergamot and Amberwood. I'm pretty sure is one that I have in the tester one and I freaking love it. So let's see. Oh, look how pretty that is. Still don't know what a bergamot is. I don't know what it is. It looks like a lime, so I don't even know what's what, but I'm pretty sure this is the one I have that I absolutely love. Don't spray the same finger. That's just weird. Hold on. Wait, I sprayed it. Yep. 
no, I like this one. Yeah, this one. Woo, y'all, y'all. Mm, this is the, this is like, again, I say they all smell clean because they do. I don't know how else to explain it because they don't smell like alcohol. You know what I mean? Very clean. It smells more, um, grassy, which isn't the right word. It smells earth. I'm like, frick, I don't know how to explain it. It's like light earthy, but not like mud and, and stuff. Like, y'all, I wish I knew how to explain these better. I don't know. It's okay. Think about it this way. Okay. Okay. Fresh cut grass, but you squeeze lime in it. Ha ha. There we go. It makes me think of fresh cut gas. Fre okay. Fresh cut grass with lime squoze on top. That smells so good. I love this one. Bergamot and amberwood. I don't know what a bergamot is. I don't even know what an amberwood is, but it smells divine. I would order this one in a big one for myself if she hadn't sent it to me. This is one of my small Tesha ones. I would have ordered a big one for myself just so we're all fully aware. I like that one. I like it a lot. What is that from? I want to say Dumb and Dumber. I like it a lot. I feel like that's a Jim Carrey quote. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Y'all tell me, because now I don't know. Oh, well, I don't even know what I just opened. Look, I'm just opening boxes and not paying attention, almost dropping stuff. Hold on, unwrap. What is this one? Sunflower and freesia. Oh, hey, sunflower and freesia. What is this? It looks pretty. Freesia must be another kind of flower because that's sunflower up there, obviously. So I'm guessing freesia is this. Yeah, no. Let's try the spray thing again. Hold on. Shake it up. I don't know if you're supposed to shake perfumes. I have no idea. I know you're not supposed to shake club soda. Shit will explode everywhere. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Okay. So, sunflower and freesia smells like candy. Only, only thing I got. I don't know what candy. Not chocolate, but like, like nerds. It smells like nerds. It makes me think of nerds and bubble gum. Like if you mix nerds and bubble gum and chew them up, it's so girly. Like it's so girly. My kid will steal this one because it's so girly. It smells really good. Now I want nerds and bubble gum. Damn it. But it smells really, really good. All right, look, the kid asked me yesterday which one she could have. We could share this one. I don't think she can have it because I, I want to use it. But I told her, I said, we can't have the same scent. I don't want dad smelling me, husband smelling me, and then dad smelling her and the scents being the same. I don't want to do that. So she can have one. Man, I got to give her the nerd bubblegum one. Or I just don't let her have any of them and she can just, you know, pout. Those are the options. Because I really like this one. But she's a teenager and nerd bubblegum makes sense. That smells really good. We'll rock, paper, scissors. That's, that's how we decide things here. Rock, paper, scissor. All right, last one. Primrose and Oris. The hell's an Oris? O-R-R-I-S? Does anybody know what an Oris is? I know, I know what an Orifice is. <laughs> primrose and Orifice. That, that sounds like it smelled definitely weird. Um, Jess, don't make Primrose and Orifice. It's a horrible idea. Nobody wants to order an Orifice. Well, no, people do order Orifices. It's just a whole different kind of website. I'm just, you know what? Let's just get this thing open and, and go with it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. So this one, Primrose and Oris looks like this. It's nice and pink and purple and bright. So I expect this one, just based off the colors of everything, I feel like it's going to have like a punch. I feel like it's going to be like a heavy floral scent. That's what I'm going with. I have no idea. And again, I'm shaking this like it's, I, don't, I shake milk. I don't know. There's certain things you don't need to shake. I shake water. Just because just it's habit, if there's a bottle to shake it, anyway, whatever. Judge me. It's fine. All right, let's see what we got. I don't know. I don't, it's mixing with everything else on my hand, so I gotta keep my hand over here. I don't know what this is. I immediately think, like, so here's what happens. I smell these things and I just, what pops into my brain, like picture wise, and I picture a woman in a three piece suit, like power walking through an office. That's all I got. I don't know why, cause it's feminine, but it's like, don't F with me feminine. I don't know how to explain what it smells like. My brain is like right here. Like I know kind of what the undertone is and what it makes me think of, but I can't actually think of it. What is that smell? 
but like in a good way, not, yeah, what does that smell? But like, Ooh, what does that smell? There's two totally different. You can say the same phrase, but what your face does really determines how it's heard. What is that? I don't even know how to explain it, but look, smell, cause that's not ever going to work. It smells really good, but I call this the don't F with me. This will be a, a don't F with me kind of scent. It's not that, that sexy scent that has the um, leather stuff to it that, that we opened up last time. Man, sandalwood, that's the one, sandalwood leather. Golly, that's, that's sex in a bottle right there. I don't care who puts it on, it's, that's sex in a bottle. Somebody's gonna have sex with you. This one, this is power. This is girl power. Yeah, I'm going girl power on this. Only way I know how to explain it. And this is the Primrose and Oris, not Orifice. <laughs> this one packs a punch. I like this one a lot. Oh, I never, y'all, I did not even notice. <gasps> how cute. So in the back of the bottles, ready to order more, it's got a QR code. You just scan it with your phone and I'm guessing it'll just take, I would try it, but <laughs> this is the phone. It would take you directly to their website, I bet, so you can order more of the exact one. Jess, you're a genius. Man, there's some really smart people out there. I'm glad I get to meet a lot of y'all. This is really cool. But okay, um, suited and suited and booted, but like mainly suited power woman. That's this. That's and if you want to fake it, that's this. If you have never put on a suit in your life and you're not a power woman and whatever, fake it. Put this on. You'll feel like it because that's what this immediately elicited in my brain was Kathy Griffin. Is that her name? No. Is that her name? No, Melanie Griffith. Hello, who the hell's Kathy Griffin? Oh, that's the com comedian. No, Melanie Griffith. I don't know why. I picture her, what movie is that? With her hair is all blonde, cause blonde, and she's got on a, 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 like a stripy suit and the red lipstick. What movie? Obviously it's like the 90s, 80s, 80s movie. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. That's what's in my head when I smell that. Like that's what I picture. I don't know. That's all I got for y'all. But I really like, I like all of those. And if I have to give the kid one, I'll give her the nerds bubble gum, which is the sunflower and freesia, because I feel like it would be perfect on her, even though I really, really like it, but we cannot have the same scent on both of us. It's a confusing thing when you do that. So that's that 2.0. I love you immensely. Thank you for hanging out with me today for my video of nothingness. I mean, we talked about a lot of stuff, but I, I don't know I didn't have like a goal of anything, but thank you for hanging out with me. I love y'all. Hopefully you have a fabulous rest of your Friday. I will try to see you tomorrow or Sunday. I can't promise anything. Monday I have manicure, pedicure, and then we have a, um, it's so crazy how gray that is. We have mimosa Monday, 5 PM central standard time. It's a stress. I'm going to blame it on the kid and the man. I'm going to be like, look, look what y'all did to me. I mean, thank you. Cause I think it's pretty, but look what you did to me. Right? So anyway, I love y'all have a fabulous rest of your night and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.